Hey, fatty. Eating fat made you fat. No child ever, ever got fat in the adulthood eating a low-fat diet. <laughs> never. They never. No child ever ate a low-carb diet. Ever. Okay, ever. So why do we change everything when we become adults? Because you're brainwashed. You're brainwashed. Cut fat out of your diet and get ripped. A low-fat lifestyle. You practice it. You just cut the fat out of the food. Lean meat. Lean meat. Fruit. Vegetables. Fat-free carbs. It's simple. It's a simple lifestyle. Okay, you don't need to eat zero carb where there's absolutely zero adherence. Zero carb, zero adherence. Low fat dieting. You just chase the fat out of all the foods. No fast food, no junk. Okay, no junk. All the junk is out as soon as you stop eating fat. The only fat you need to be taking in is what's in lean meat. Lean. Lean. Why the heck would I put fat into my diet? It's a waste of calories. It's a complete waste. I want protein and carbs. Protein to recover, carbs for energy. My fat can be rock bottom. Even once I'm ripped, I never have to add fat to the diet. The meat will have enough fat in it. The meat will have enough fat. Fat people don't need any fat in their diet. Fat people don't even need to eat. We proved that with prolonged fasting on snake juice. You cut fat out of your diet. You make it a lifestyle. Look at the labels. Look at the label. Fat-free carbs. Fat-free carbs. Women that are going through menopause, doing a low-carb diet is insane. All right? Insane. I'm getting more and more women get a hold of me talking about how much I'm saving their lives. Getting them to eat carbs again and cutting the fat out. Fat is like medication. Okay, even when you're ripped, it is essential, but the dose is tiny. Tiny. A tiny dose. The protein obviously puts muscle on you. And the carbs give you energy. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. Zero carb diets suck. They have no long-term adherence, mess your thyroid function, mess up your bowel movements. You have piss poor well-being, no energy in comparison to carbs. Are you out of your mind? You can't compete. You can't compete with carbs. High volume eating, high volume. Fat is low volume, it's oil. It's got the highest calorie count, nine calories per gram. Not the fat on your diet. And then you eat more carbs and protein. Have way more energy, way better recovery. The amount of fat you need, even when you're ripped, which you're nowhere near there, is still a tiny amount. There's enough in the lean meat you're gonna eat. This diet is simple, simple. You just cut fat. You just eat clean. It's just low fat, clean eating. God forbid you have to cut fat out of your diet. You're addicted to fat. Eating fat made you a fat pig. Not clean carbs, not fat free carbs, not lean meat, not vegetables. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know how much volume of clean carbs you'd have to eat to even gain any weight? Not to mention when you're in a surplus, sugar doesn't even turn into fat. It takes like 30% of the calories to even make any of it into fat when you're in a surplus. If you're on a low-fat diet, the fat's what turns into fat in two seconds. Obviously, it's fat. <laughs> it's fat. <laughs> it's so idiot-proof. Okay? You'll never gain weight back. Okay? Not gaining weight back is more important than the speed of the weight loss. Okay, when you're on a diet that you know that you'll never gain weight back, if you just keep chasing the fat out of your diet, the dirty, fattening foods, that's goals. That's goals. Never gaining it back as long as you don't veer off and start eating a bunch of fat, which there's no reason for it. 
That's just you being a fat, lazy pig. When you can just eat more carbs, more lean protein, more vegetables. It's a clean diet. You guys already know this. Everybody knows about this diet. They know it works. They've been dodging this diet like the plague. When they should be dodging fat like the plague. Until next time, cut fat on your diet, you fat pig. Clean eating. Low fat, high volume dieting. Clean eating.